Hey tribe, what is the vibe? The camera turned on and I was not ready. I was here dancing. So, I hope everyone is doing well. My apologies once again for the delay in readings, but you know, I am a mother, I'm a wife, and I have shit to do. Okay, so I'm here though. Okay, so let's see what we could get. It's gonna be another general reading for the collective. Any sign, doesn't matter. Holy Spirit, make me a clear channel. Please give me clear, concise, accurate messages for the collective. Again, to Michael, I ask that you protect me from anything that is not of the holiest white light. Anything that is not of the holiest white light, please do not allow it to come in. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. All right, let's see what's the um, overall energy. <sighs> for, all of those, for those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you returning, welcome back. Um, I'm a, <clears throat> I pick up, I read energy. I don't read tarot. I use the tarot to read energy. So a lot of times I'll say something and then you'll see it come out right after. It's, that's because it's the energy that I'm picking up. And that lets you know that it's um, accurate. Okay. So what message is, what's the overall energy? The collective. Also, <coughs> yo, what the hell? I also have some good news, but I'm waiting to tell it because you know. Um, can I get an overall energy card, please? Peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Is somebody nervous? At the bottom of the deck, we have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So I feel like just off of these alone, I feel like somebody has found their peace or somebody is taking back their energy. Somebody is getting their freedom back from a situation. Somebody just wants peace. Okay. Okay. What else do we have for the collective? We got imprisonment. Sorry about my nails, y'all. Okay. Why? Why? We got um, imprisonment and we got marriage. Yeah. So it's giving somebody feels trapped in a commitment. Okay. We got house in reverse. Yeah. It's not wherever somebody is right now is <clears throat> chaos. Okay. Yeah. And somebody's thinking about you within this household. Yeah, despair. Mm -hmm. Somebody does not want to be where they're at. Point blank period. Okay. We got false person. gift with thoughts still at the bottom of the deck yeah thoughts pathway and poverty yeah adjudication somebody is thinking about the, the 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 path that they took okay that is now having them in financial straits and now they want to get out with this adjudication card somebody wants to make a decision in a situation that they're not happy in okay What's this imprisonment?
So somebody is in a situation, in a household, in a living situation where yeah, we got mirroring, where they don't want to be. What else for this imprisonment? Yeah, karmic lesson. <laughs> Somebody's learning a lesson and it's a hard pill for them to swallow. Somebody's learning a lesson about their decisions. Yeah. Psycho, crazy ex, obsessed, won't let go. What's this marriage? Yeah. Well, goodbye at the bottom of the deck. What's this marriage? So basically, what I'm getting is somebody got married or somebody is in a high-level commitment with somebody that's crazy and does not want to let them go. Okay? Yeah, we got ghosted. This is clarifying the marriage card. Ghosted, on and off, hot and cold, detached. this marriage secret accounts yeah it's just giving um, what else yeah feelings hmm. so somebody is in their feelings somebody could be even somebody could be even watching you from a secret account here Okay, if you um, subscribe to social media or however they're doing it, it's going to be different for everybody, but somebody's definitely in their feelings. They're watching you from some type of secret page or secret something, and they're in their feelings. I feel like somebody is realizing that the grass was not green on the other side, and now it's like they're stuck in a situation that they can't get out of. Y'all remember that song? Yeah, they stuck in a moment. That's the song. What's this house? Reverse. Turning your back. Yeah, somebody wants to get out. <laughs> somebody wants to get out. What else? Praying. Faith, healing, meditation. Mm-hmm. What else? <laughs> Massive regrets. I'm telling you. It's like, what the fuck did I get myself into? Why the fuck did I put myself with this person? Now I don't want to be here. I don't have enough money to leave. This is like hell. What is this despair? So, for some of you, this person lost their job. For some of you, somebody is losing their home. Okay? Okay, we got a love message. Yeah, listen. I'm going to just tell you straight like this. Somebody is going through some shit with a third party. And they're going to come to try to canoodle you or to like... Um, bullshit you basically, right? Because whatever they got themselves into is not working. So this could very, this could very well be somebody from your past, okay? That's going through a lot of financial problems, and now they want to come to you because they need help. <sighs> what else for this um despair? Yeah. You know, you've seen this person's true colors, though, and they have also seen whoever they're dealing with in that house, in that situation where they feel trapped, they already, they have also seen that person's true colors. Okay? But I feel like this is you guys knowing this person's true colors. You already know what this person is about. Okay? <clears throat> For some of you, this person came out of nowhere 
and sent you some type of text message, you probably was like shocked. Okay. Like what, what rock did this person crawl from under? <clears throat> but yeah, what I tell you? Bad credit, debt, unemployed. And this is coming out clarifying the despair card, which has not hiring in the background. So somebody either lost their job, somebody's not making enough money to pay for their lifestyle, something like that. And now they're wanting to come towards you so you can assist them. Okay. Hmm. What's this false person? Blocked, spam, calls, text, yeah. So you can have this person blocked. Like I said, you already know what this person is about. Okay, but somehow, some way, this person is watching you through some type of secret account and they're going to send you some type of message probably from that secret account for some of you, okay? Especially if they're blocked on like the phone. Yeah, we got memories. Ooh, excuse me. What else? Mm -hmm. Whoever this person is, they're sitting here and they're thinking about all the good times you guys had, all right? They're reminiscing, is what I'm hearing, on all the good times you guys had. This person does not like the fact that they're blocked. Okay. What else for this false person? <laughs> Running. Yeah. <sighs> this person is trying to get away from wherever the hell they at. Okay. They're trying to get away from this cycle that they're dealing with. This cycle that they could be married to. This cycle that they, they're living with. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we got a wish at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Wish and followed by not happy. Okay. So basically somebody is wishing on a hope and a prayer that they could be back in your good graces. What's this gift? Getting readings, yeah. <laughs> what else? Ashamed, guilt, embarrassed, and the wrong. Yeah. So somebody could be getting readings on you to see what you got going on because they're blocked. Okay. This person is in their head. They're thinking about all the good times. They're thinking about the fact that they probably fucked up with you. And now they're ashamed because they realize that whoever they left you to go towards was not worth it. Okay. Whoever they left to go towards does not hold a candle to you. Okay. Now they're seeing you as the blessing that you've been this whole time, but they were just too blind to see. What else was gift? Whatever messages this person sends is due to a direct result of the duress that they're under. What else for this gift? Yeah, <laughs> goodbye. It's no, it's no turning back. Okay, this person feels like crap because now wherever they at, it's a, a never ending cycle with whoever this person is that they're dealing with. Yeah, trap and married and love spell. Okay. Hmm. For some of you, this person could be a twin flame. Take that how it resonates. Everybody don't have a twin flame. Okay. Let's just, let's 
just be realistic, people, okay? It's 144000 Cut that in half, okay? Then it's, you know? What's this um imprisonment? Somebody feels trapped with a psychotic karmic that is mirroring their energy right back to them. Clarity, yeah. Truth, intentions, honesty. Yeah, they see it for what it is now. They see it. Somebody's no longer confused. Somebody could even have proof of something. Okay. Yeah, distracted. Sidetrack, change delays. What else? So this person is seeing whoever they're dealing with. They're seeing the situation that they're in for what it is. They're seeing that it was never a love relationship. It was never a relationship that was full of love. I feel like somebody just wanted control here. Yeah, curse. I'm telling you. Listen. <laughs> For some of you, this person could feel like you hexed them or you cursed them to 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 find um to not find love or to to I don't know. But this person it's just giving delusional. Okay? It's just giving delusional. And it's just giving that this person, they don't want to take accountability for their actions. So they want to blame somebody else. Probably you. Okay. What's this marriage? There's something going on with throat chakra. Heart fog. Mixed signals, blocked emotions, messed up. Yeah. Somebody is, it's like this person. <sighs> It's like they don't know what to do with themselves because they know they got themselves into a situation that they no longer want to be in. They could be treating this other person cold, okay? They don't... It's like they they ignore this person. They don't really pay this person any mind, okay? I feel like this person spends the majority of their time while they're around this person on secret accounts watching you and getting in their feelings and feeling like shit because it's like... Ain't no turning back now. Yeah. <laughs> Apology. I'm telling you. What else? Conflicted. Decisions. Hot and cold. Multiple choices. Yeah. This person does not know what to do. It's like... They know they don't want to be wherever they at, but they also know that getting back with you or coming back towards you is not going to go the way they probably want it to go. So they like they don't know what to do cuz I feel like this person was very confident in their decision when they, you know, chose to go elsewhere. And now it's like I don't know. So for some of you, this person could have been... Some type of spell work could have been done on this person. Okay? Which means that this person most likely was in a low vibrational energy. Because that's the only way shit like that really sticks and works. What's this house? Elusive. Dishonesty. Deception. Trickery. Mm. What else? Yeah, somebody feels like they got caught up in somebody's web of lies. Okay? Like whoever this person is that they got with, they they spun a web around them and got them caught up. They, this person didn't even know. By the time they realized that they was caught in the web, it was too late. Okay? What else for this house reverse? Somebody could be losing a home also. For those of you, you could have been living with someone, with this person, and you could have moved out, okay? But at the same time, you could have been the one footing most of the bills. You could have been basically providing for this person, okay? And you decided to walk away and focus on yourself. And I feel like somebody is regretting that. They're, they're regretting 
letting you walk out of their life or they're regretting walking out of your life. Check it out. Resonates. What's this house? Here in a house, that house is not a home. Hopeless, sinking, despair, falling apart, despair once again. Yeah, it's like somebody. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for them. Almost, almost. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like somebody could be sleeping on the air mattress. Okay. Chemistry, attraction, spark, passion. Yeah. This person is hoping that you guys still have some type of chemistry here. Okay. It's like, I feel like this person is trying to psych themselves out. It's like, they know deep within themselves that they cannot come back towards you or that if they did come back towards you, it's not going to be easy to get you back the way they had you, if at all. And I feel like they're wishing on a hope and a prayer that they, they, they can. But I feel like this person is, is, I don't feel like this person is on the up and up. I feel like this person is toxic. They just met somebody who was more toxic. And now they want to come back to the peace. <laughs> they want their freedom. What is this despair? Beginnings. Try again. New direction. Start over. I'm telling you. And this is coming out on top of love message, true colors, bad credit, un unemployed, and debt. I'm telling you, this person is coming because they want to try again because whatever they're in, wherever they're at, whatever they're doing, whoever they're with, it's not working. Period. They're having money problems. Okay. It's just, like I said, for some of you, this person could have lost their job as well. Getting ready to lose their home because they can't pay for it. Yeah, we got family, fertility, mm, parenthood. I'm telling you, somebody going to try to get you pregnant or get pregnant by you. Be careful. Be careful. Fantasy, daydreaming. Yeah. This is what's going on in their mind. This person is sitting there thinking, you know what? I know how to get him or her back. I know how I know what I gotta do. I know, you know. I feel like this person is really gonna come and try to like trap you in some way where you will not have any choice but to deal with them. Okay? Yeah. Confusion. What's this what's this false person? What's this false person? Stress, yeah. Turbulence, tension, arguments. This person is stressed out. <laughs> what else? It's like the more this person cannot get in contact with you, yeah, yeah, breaking point. The more this person can't get in contact with you, the, the more it affects them. Because I feel like they don't have any outlet. All they have is themselves. They can't express how they feel to this other person. You know what I'm saying? So they bottle up everything and they feel fucked up because they know who you were to them and they know who they were to you. They know they weren't shit to you. This person knows. They know why they're blocked. Okay? 
All they have now is the memories. Now they want to run because it's stressful wherever they're at. Breaking point. Limit. Final straw. Overwhelm. This person can't deal with whoever the hell they, they chose. It's like you make your bed, you lay in it. You know what I'm saying? Commitment. Yeah. You make your bed, you lay in it. And for some of you, this person is wanting to come to try to offer you some type of, uh, uh, what's the, um, term? Shotgun wedding. Thank you. Okay. I feel like this person is going to try to come and like offer you some type of shotgun wedding. You could have wanted to marry this person once upon a time. Okay, but you dodged the bullet whenever they went, wherever they went. Okay, and I feel like now they're like wanting to spin the block because they realize that wherever they went wasn't for them or wasn't where they wanted to actually be. I feel like this person left somewhere where they were comfortable to go somewhere where they thought they would be, I don't know, more comfortable. I feel like this person is just giving... Nothing is ever good enough, okay? It's like this person is always looking for the next best thing, okay? What's this gift? What's this gift? Abandoned, left out, walked away cold. Yeah. They know they abandoned you. They know they abandoned you. And now this person is ashamed of their actions because the actions that they took is what got them in the situation. Yeah, beauty. Charming, graceful, kind-hearted. They know that their actions is what got them where they're at now. They can't blame anybody but themselves. But I feel like this is the type of person that does not know or does not want to take accountability. For their actions. Like I said, they like playing the blame game. Okay? And ain't nobody got time for people like that. Especially grown ass motherfuckers who don't know how to take accountability for their own actions. Ain't nobody got time for that. Take that shit over there. And leave it over there. And stay over there with it. Ain't nobody got time. What else for this gift? <laughs> yeah, Divine Feminine. They already know who you are. They know who you are. They know you were a blessing to them. Yeah, memories again. All they have is the fucking memories because that's all they fucking deserve. They abandon a beautiful divine feminine or masculine, take it how it resonates, for trash. Basura. Okay? What's this, um, yeah, we got the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. What's this, what's this imprisonment? <laughs> the tower. Scorpio energy, Aries energy. What's this, um, what's this imprisonment? Yeah, that whole shit is falling apart. That whole shit is falling apart because they got with a karmic. They got with a karmic energy. Okay, that's psycho and refuses to let them go. That's obsessed, obsessive and possessive. I'm also getting that somebody could be paying somebody to marry them here or somebody paid somebody to marry them. What, what else for this imprisonment? Yeah, five of cups. This person is disappointed in themselves. They're disappointed in the fact that they chose to make their life miserable the way it is now. Okay? Yeah. Because I feel like as soon as this person went wherever they went with whoever they went with, everything started falling apart. Little by little. Things just started falling apart. Yeah, the chariot. 
Cancer energy. They want to get out of here now. They want to get out of there. They, they don't want to be there. Okay. It's a shit show wherever this person is at. They can't. They don't get along with this karmic. There's always arguments. This person feels like this karmic is doing spell work on them. They feel it. They know it. Okay. They probably could have even witnessed some shit. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. What's this marriage? A burden. It's a burden. Mm hmm. What else? That came out quick, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. What else? Oh, yeah, I'm telling you. Three of Pentacles. They wanted to work with this person. But now they want to work with you. They want to now they ghost in this person. But some of you that this comic, this this other this third party, whatever you want to call it, they got um their own shit going on on the side as well. Okay. What else for this marriage? Yeah, the fool. They burdened because they took a chance. They took a risk to go towards someone to work with them and it just was not, it, 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 they did not mesh well. Okay, Aquarius, Aries energy. This person took a foolish risk. <sighs> what is this house reverse? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. What else? A lot of major arcana coming out. So, I feel like spirit is very much involved here. Okay, and I feel like Spirit is protecting you from this person and they're fuckery. Okay? Yeah, we got the Four of Swords. Somebody wants some type of commitment here. This person is, because this, the Hierophant is coming out on top of the chemistry card. Okay? So I feel like this person is hoping, it's like, for those of you where this person got married to this other person, it's almost like they want to, just walk away from the marriage and walk into a new marriage with you. Okay. What's this for? Um, what's this house reverse? Judgment. Yeah, like I said, this person wants to come towards you, but they know. It's almost like this person is sitting there pondering like how how do I get this person to like take me back? How do I get this person to like show me mercy? I know I fucked up. I know I did some fucked up shit. I know I, I hurt this person. But how do I get them to just take me back? Just forget all the bad things that I did, all the hurt that I caused. This person is delusional. What's this despair? Judgment, um, Scorpio energy here. So we got Scorpio, Taurus. <sighs> Scorpio, Cancer, Aquarius, Aries. What else? What's this um, despair? What's this despair? 34, 39 on the clock. On the timer, I mean. So, this person, I'm going to just say your ex, okay? Or whoever this person is to you. 
They are, yeah, well, we got the two cups at the bottom of the deck. Mm, mm, mm. This person, this person is full of shit. Okay, that's, that's just the long and short of it. What's this despair? They don't want nobody to know that they're going through financial problems either. They don't want nobody to know that. They don't want you to know that, especially. Because then you'll realize that, that that's the motive for them coming back. <laughs> okay. Eight of Swords reversed. Yeah. <sighs> I feel like Somebody is not living in, um, somebody's mentally free. Okay. I feel like they, they feel like this about you, that you're mentally free. Like you're not trying to, you're not dwelling on the shit that they've done. Yeah. That's what this freedom is about. Yeah. <laughs> With the six of wands. Okay. You have, you're not worried. You're not studying them. You're not worried about them. You're not thinking about them. You focus on yourself. You focus on your success. You focus on whatever the hell it is that you got going on in your life right now. Outside of that person. Okay? And I feel like with this person watching you from whatever secret accounts, they see your abundance. They see how well you're doing. And they want in. Okay? Because they ain't doing so well wherever the hell they at. All right. What else for this despair? And it's bothering them to see you. Yeah, Eight of Cups. It's bothering them to see you move on. You like literally, you've turned your back on this person. Okay. What's this false person? Justice. Libra energy. That's that's what they get. Cause and effect. What else? And that is their karma. Because the justice card is a card of karma as well. Yeah. For all the secrets. Moon energy. Cancer Pisces energy. Hmm. What else for this false person? That's stressing out and overwhelmed by their own decisions. Yeah, eight of wands. This person is... Okay, so listen. For some of you, this person... Work with the person that... When they first got together with this person that they're dealing with... Or the, the person that they don't want to be with anymore... When they first got together with this person, they both did spell work against you. Okay? They both did. Some type of moon magic. Okay? I feel like somebody was conjuring up stuff with this curse. <sighs> Being clarified by the tower. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this person was sending negative energy or sending some type of spell work towards you. It's almost giving like this person, even though they left you to go to someone else, they are their heart was still with you. And it was almost like... It's almost like this person was mad at you for not chasing them. Or something. Okay? But everything that they're going through right now, everything that this person is going through is a direct result of their actions. And any else, anybody else that was involved is taking a hit as well. Yeah, we got the lovers at the bottom of the deck. What's this? What's this gift? So this person. Yeah, page of cups. This person. 
Yeah, they want to apologize. They want forgiveness. They want to say how sorry they are. Yada, yada, yada. And all of the above. Okay. What's this? What's this gift? Ooh. We got temperance with the nine of cups. Sagittarius energy. Yeah. This person wants to bring balance back to the connection that you guys had. Okay. Because this person is realizing that you are their wish fulfillment. You are their dream come true. You are their divine feminine. You're beautiful inside and out. And they know that they abandoned you. They, they know you, they left you out in the cold. Okay. Let me get one more for this um gift. Yeah, two of wands. They're making plans to come towards you. Okay. Six of Pentacles. I feel like now this person wants to give fairly, give equally, whereas they may not have been given equally prior to this. Yeah, because we got the, the, the Nine of Swords behind that. Yeah, this person is feeling like crap. I feel like I feel like this person started out with some type of money. They could have had a job. Excuse me. They could have had a nice job. A stable job, okay? And when they got, like I said, once they once they crossed you, collective, because we got you coming out, the earth angel energy is out here, okay? And I feel like once this person crossed you, they basically crossed themselves out, okay? I feel like I said, everything started going downhill from there, okay? And now they up shit creek, without a paddle and they don't know what to do because they did it to themselves. They don't have anybody to blame. This person likes to blame other people for their fuck ups. They don't like to take responsibility for their own actions. Just real childish energy, if you ask me. But they know, they know who you are. Divine feminine, divine masculine, they know who you are, okay? And they feel like shit. They are ashamed of their actions in regards to you. Now they result, they resort into Getting readings done to see what you got going on because they're blocked. Rightly so. Okay? But I'm going to leave it here, guys. If you resonated with this, I hope it gave you some insight. If it did, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. I love you. Later.